Hello guys! What's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, we're going to use all the products that I bought from Sephora but not all because I don't have primer, I don't have foundation, concealer, and others. Kung interesado ka, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. Videos. Okay guys, I just want to refresh my face. Let's spray this one from La Firm Collagen Moisture Soothing Mist. Oh, by the way, guys, I wash this one. Please, guys, teach me how to really wash it properly. I spray the uh, MAC cleansing off oil. It didn't come out. Uh, dishwashing liquid, but it didn't work. And I just used this one three consecutive days. Anyways, please comment down below and teach me how to do it, baby. When I'm already there in the Sephora, 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 I'm not sure if I'm gonna grab a new one of this. Is it full size or mini size? Because I used to love this. Okay, next let's proceed with foundation. Let's use Estee Lauder. But this time I wanna try something different because I wanna make sure that I put a little product but it still smoothens and not cakey and not too much product on my face. So I'll just grab a foundation brush, two products, two products, two pumps, and do it this way. Spread it on my face. Do you think this is lighter? It's like, you know, because it's summer already, everyone is getting darker or tanner. Okay, let's do one side of my face first. And I'm gonna grab this one. It's a dump sponge from Sephora collection. So let's do the whole face first. And let's see if I still need another layer. Use a sponge and spread it. You know, uh, recently guys, I'm loving to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Retouch Concealer. Just that one under my eye. It looks so perfect. I love it. So I think there are still extra. So let's put it on the side of the nose. And the extra on my lids. So this is the first layer. I think it's okay but it's not full coverage. It's more natural. It's more seamless. That's so very thin. Almost close to my natural skin. So, I think I'm gonna get a little darker that's really matching my neck. So, next, let's use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Retouch Concealer. This shade is 140. So, let's do one side first because this is a little thick. Whatever is the extra, I put it on my eyelids. But make sure when you top dab it, you know, it's not gonna mess up your lids. Because sometimes this kind of uh, thick concealer, if you're not gonna work it out right away, it doesn't look nice, baby. For my dark spot, I'm going to use LA Girl Pro Conceal HD on my blemishes. I still have other blemishes other than that, but sometimes it's okay to leave it, you know. So it's kind of more natural the way other people see it. Because if you put too much, but actually guys, I love full coverage. I'm going to use this one. Let's try it. This powder. But I'm going to put it here. Ooh. Let's put it under my eye first. <laughs> and my lids. Then now, let's work it out. Slowly, slowly. I think this is better. It looks like a translucent powder than the banana one. The banana one is too orangey on my skin. Mm, I can, I don't know if I'm going to say it's nice. You know the powder is soft as in. It's soft. But the Fenty Beauty Concealer creases, if you can see that. I don't think so you can see that. I'm not sure if you see that, baby. There. You can see that. Mm. So I don't feel like using this one really. So let's go with my sponge. Okay, now let's go and take a fluffy brush and take more. Then the rest, let's do it, baby. Also on the sides of my nose, 
there's a separation. I don't like it. <laughs> With that kind of reaction, baby. You know. To the rescue is the cut bondi. So let's go ahead with the cut bondi. So let's use this one, baby. And just tap a little powder. Starting off here on the side of the nose. See? It's better, baby. And some on the under eye. Next, let's proceed with the key life first. The eyebrows, baby. This is all-time favorite of lots of ladies out there, but it's my first time to use it. So, let's see if this dark brown is gonna match. You know, lately I know, guys, sometimes when I do my eyebrows, it's dark. It's so bold and it doesn't look nice. So, let's try to line the gaps. Okay, let's do it more. Upper stroke following your real hair okay guys i'm done with my key light and honestly guys for me it's kind of hard for me to work this out you know this kind of tip it's like a very thin pencil i am just having a hard time lately doing my eyebrows with pencils let's set it now with this one same shade so let's do it oh Actually, guys, with first stroke, I didn't like it already. Maybe I can use this one if I'm rushing without any pencil. Okay, now let's proceed with the eyeshadow, the exciting part. This is Morphe, their mini size, I can say. It's 9C Jewel Crew, Jewel Crew. Okay, let's just begin, my dear friends. So, we already set the eyelids. Uh, for me, my eyebrows, I don't feel like i love it or i like it it's just okay okay let's begin with the transition color i'm going to take this one chocolate diamond very very light it's a little bit patchy let's add one more this is patchy let's use another brush i don't like it why you know i hate those let's begin with this and let's see Let's work it out, baby. Let's add rich girl. Maybe the problem is the eyeshadow, that chocolate diamond, because I didn't like it. Because it's too patchy, as you can see. I don't like it. This one, this color is just okay. Mm. That's way better than the other side. So let's work it out. Same color. Guys, I'm gonna put tape beside here because i feel like doing smoky this time let's just do it baby i want to stretch my back i'm going to use the diamond chocolate chocolate on the outer part let's see if something gonna happen with other brush with this brush is okay what's wrong with you nyx i just used you this morning this is not powdery i don't see any fallouts okay now i'm going to try it to put it a little inside if you can see i extended a little on the crease part mm -hmm. okay this one i'm gonna take this flat brush and put it all over here this purple ring let's spray it with mac prep plus prime fix plus then do that one baby <laughs> i really don't see any pigment baby what's wrong with you baby mm -hmm. i'll just use my fingertips let's just get another brush this brush then shape it baby on the inner part i love that color let's go a little darker on the others other side on this area i'm going to try hidden gem mm. It's just same with that brown. Let's just use flex. Walang nangyari. Let's use the orange. This one stone flex. A little lighter than this one. So just to swipe it here. I wanna put this one for the inner corners. I'm going to use this one rose quartz if it's going to pop very nice no it doesn't look nice so let's remove this one uh, ouch 
my hair leave it like that for the meantime and later we're going to blend it baby it hurts baby but still the product is there i can pull it it's very smooth let's just put this one underneath i'm going to use this one all over the lower lashes okay let's go back with this sponge dub 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 very slowly and let's go back with the fenty beauty because i can feel it it's nice on my under eye this is very smooth so you know how sensitive my skin is there okay let's proceed on the other parts of my face let's just get a fluffy brush blend it here first leave this thing there because it's kind of red i'm excited let's use this one from too faced this is the mini size their Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium or Deep Matte Bronzer It's like nothing mm. I don't like it Let's use the Benefit instead Benefit is really a good product mm -hmm. blend, blend. I think guys this kind of brush is really better with liquid Let's contour the forehead Making sure it's very close on your hairline. I'm going to take a fluffy brush this time, this one. I'm going to take more. Then, clean brush here. Then, blend. Next, let's clean this part. Okay, next, blush. I'll just use this one. Let's see. Mm, that's pigmented. I'm putting it and combining it with the contour. It's just this one is red and this one because of the tape. Now let's proceed with the mascara. Okay, let's see this one. The Bad Girl Bang from Benefit. Okay guys, I'm done putting the mascara. But when I put two to three coats, I mean th three coats onwards, it's clumping, baby. Let me put the flashlight on. Then if you can see, it's clumping on the ear. And let's put falsies, then I'll be back, okay? Okay, now we're almost done. And I'm happy with this look. But I just don't like the performance of the Fenty Concealer with the Fenty Setting Powder. So now let's proceed with the Fenty Beauty Free Style Highlighter in the shade Hustla. It is pigmented. Uh, to be honest guys, for my first impression for this one, because it's yellow, I can see there's a big glitters on. I'm not impressed, okay? I don't know if I can say that's glitters or what. Because if you're going to use other like Becca or the copycat, it's not like this. If you have a textured skin, you have pimples and everything, this one is not gonna work for you because it's gonna show up just like that. And I still see little bumps there. Let's try this one with Fenty Beauty as well. It's a big doe foot applicator Ooh, it's gloss and kind of orangey okay this is the look for the Fenty Beauty lipstick okay now let's try this one from Fenty Beauty mostly I bought from Fenty Beauty let's use this one I like it baby there, baby, it's so powdery lips. Okay, let me finish this look, then I'll be back. So, guys, I'm back with the final look. So, my hair is a little bit wet, so I just do this. Uh -huh. Looks like this. Uh, mm, mm, look like this. Okay, guys, for the final thoughts, this will not be a uh, long test and so on and so forth. But, my final thoughts for this look okay personally let's go with the eyebrows for the anastasia brow wiz i like it the way it is personally i like it 
just this one not to apply this one if i'm going to apply something that it will set my brow i'm gonna go for the benefit the 24 hour brow setter the clear one or anything clear you know guys when you hold it it's not smooth you know benefit is a good one but i can say the brow is is good but topping with this one hmm, i don't think so okay for the morphe i'm not sure guys if it's because of my brush that this chocolate diamond makes the eyeshadow really patchy on my skin but let's give it a try but overall i like it i like it guys but i hope instead of putting two oranges matte there i hope they just put something something for smoky could be black could be darker brown because for me you can build the colors for the both two oranges you know if you're going to put another like dark or different kind of texture of brown it's better for the transition color not for two oranges that's just my own opinion okay overall i like it it's for travel size friendly guys you have choices for any, you know, simple look, glam look, and everything. So, I love my eyes, baby. So, I like it. Next, for this one, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Mini Instant Retouch Setting Powder. Powder, as I've told you earlier while putting this one under my eye, I don't like it with a performance with this one. With the Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. So maybe I'm gonna give it a try for other concealer. But this one, I feel it. It's so very smooth. I like it. It's not powdery. It just gives you the very smooth texture that you want. Then next, for the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. Honestly, personally, I like better the Too Faced Better Than Sex. This one, when I put the third layer, I see clumping. But let's give it a try again, okay guys? Okay, these are just my first impression while trying it on my face. Next, for the Anastasia, this uh, blush is kind of patchy on my face. Maybe because of the concealer. So, let me use it again. But, overall, I like it. Okay? With this trio, you have different shadows to try. So, yeah. For this one, for the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter, is good. You know, when I don't put lights on my face, it does look natural highlight. You know what I mean? So, when I do this one, see? See that? it gives me the natural blue it's just when the lights is on on your face and if you're going to directly check it out on the mirror and see it it's rough texture of glitter because when you swipe it it's kind of rough and it transfers <laughs> this one is very good either way for sure use it as a topping or use it just this one is very good i like it and it's fruity it's glossy it's yummy i like it for this one it looks the my lips is so powdery mm. there you go guys so i think that's it for today so i hope you enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up don't forget to comment down below and share this video to your families and friends and i hope you enjoy this video Bye, guys. I hope to see you on my next one. Bye.